what is up guys let's try this again happy taco tuesday i'm gonna say that every tuesday y'all just be ready for that okay it's my favorite day of the week besides hump day if i'm getting my humps in okay so guys thank you so much for the love and support hit that like button it sends an energetic donation out to me make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out um, this is going to be a general reading. It's not going to resonate for everybody. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Don't force it to fit. If you would like a personal, all that information is in the description box. Shoot me an email and I will respond. Okay, so this is just going to be your energy, okay? Your, ener your energy. Advice from the universe for you, okay? What's in your energy? We're going to see who's in your energy. What do we have come in, okay? Let's see what's going on with you guys. What's going on with the collective spirit ancestors and guides? What is going on with the collective at this time? What is the collective's overall energy at this time? Spirit ancestors and guides. What is going on with the collective? So you do have somebody. What's interesting is we have the man, woman holding the coin at the bottom of the deck, okay? And we have the man holding the coin here. So you definitely can be in some kind of twin flame union, okay? Some kind of union with your divine counterpart. Um, but we, in your energy, we have this man holding the coin. This is somebody that's on their shit. They got their money together, right? Um, and, but then we also have envy. So this is general. I'm getting two messages. This is either you have a karmic masculine that's in your energy, somebody that's wealthy, they're on their shit. They try to use money, you know, to to keep you down, you know what I'm saying, to keep you attached to them. This person is very, very jealous over you, okay? Or this could be, you know, your masculine, your your divine counterpart, I feel like, okay? Um that is very very like you could be trying to move on you could be ignoring this masculine okay because this masculine could be dealing with the karmic energy right now this could be i definitely feel like this could be your twin flame this is somebody that loves you very very much yeah this is your twin flame confirmation okay somebody that wants to take action towards you and come towards you with the black and white that is your twin flame okay and this person you're thinking a lot about this person right now okay this person is on your mind but the thing is this person that loves you very very much that is your counterpart they are e either have a karmic energy okay that is very very jealous of you and the relationship okay or they are very very jealous that because they're dealing with the karmic and you're not responding to this person right so there is i feel like you have quite a few people that are jealous as fuck of your energy right now because you are shining you're the empress you know what i'm saying regardless of what you got going you're the woman holding the coin you're still being blessed you're the person that got this person's heart you know what i'm saying like it is what it is and this person is very fucking jealous like it's because you you still are growing up regardless of what this person did it's like the h might have went towards this karmic energy to make you jealous and to like bring your spirit down a little bit but all it did is it helped you blow up even more you know what i'm saying it helped you get even it, like it's like the more they did to you the more the universe blessed you with abundance the more they put you through the more you it's like you glowed up you know what i'm saying and this person sees that and it's like they boy it's like even if this karmic is watching you and they thought oh when they when this masculine went to them they won wop wop la you know what i'm saying you're still shining on facebook you're still shining on social media you're still being blessed abundantly you could be buying new shit and it's got these motherfuckers jealous as fuck your divine map your counterpart and your your um the karmic everybody is jealous of you right now honestly i'd rather have these motherfuckers jealous um and hating right i'd rather have everybody jealous and hating on me because all it does is tell me that i'm doing something right and with me it's one of them things where it's like um you either love me or you hate me you know there's no in between because i'm one of them people that if i don't like you i don't fuck with you at all so it's a it's very 
So this person that's in your energy, though, they don't know how to what to say to you. Okay, they don't know how to say to what to say to you because you're in your empress energy. Nothing can bring you down off of that level. No matter what the universe look tries to throw at you, you're constantly being blessed with new opportunities, with money, with you know what I'm saying. It's like, damn, you might even be starting a new business for yourself, right? And it's like they, these haters, you got haters all around around you watching this and are jealous as fuck and now that you've glowed up and this masculine or this person whoever you're dealing with thought that they were because it's a man on the card okay that's why i'm reading it like that um but whoever you're dealing with when they tried to make you jealous with this karmic and they thought it was gonna make you come crawling back to them the, it backfired and you did the complete opposite you you stood in empress in your empress energy right and continued to work on yourself and glowed up and now this person don't know what to say to you because all the shit that they put you through 555 five, five on the clock changed you okay that changed you and it made you realize like your self-worth and now they don't know what to say to you because it thought it they thought what they did was gonna make you come crawling back and be like, oh, okay, like that weak ass karmic, but it didn't. So now they're trying to figure out like what do I say to this person, right? This karmic could also be trying to reach out to you. Like you could have been going back and forth with the karmic recently, or that could be coming in the future, okay? Just saying. What else is in the collective's energy spirit, ancestors and guides? What else is in the collective's energy spirit, ancestors and guides? Yeah, look at you. Look, I cannot make this shit up. In uh, Over the envy card, we have the beauty card. Okay, somebody is jealous as fuck. I'm telling you, you got it fucking going on. But the thing about this beauty card and my lighting sucks, I'm going to... I am going to fix it, y'all. I've been saying that. Don't come for me. It's surrounded by snakes, okay? You, and, and whether you don't feel beautiful on the outside, you are a beautiful soul. You are an absolutely amazingly beautiful soul, and it shines through. But you are surrounded by snakes. This could be all around your energy. You could have jealous friends, jealous family members, you know what I'm saying, that are jealous of, like, you. whatever you go through, you still come out on fucking top, and it got everybody jealous. This karmic energy is jealous as fuck because you're beautiful. You're fucking shining. Your soul is shining through. This 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 wealthy person that's on their shit that try that try to bring you down and make you jealous. They're fucking now jealous because look at you. Who wouldn't want you, boy? But the thing is, you're fucking surrounded by snakes, and it's because you're such a beautiful soul. You know what I'm saying? And it's easy. And it's easy for snakes to try to attach to people like that, for devils to try to attach to such beautiful souls and empaths, right? But that's the part of spiritual growth. I'm an empath, I'm divine, but I'm not going to let anybody run me the fuck over no more. I can sense a snake a mile the fuck away. I would rather sit in my energy alone than sit in a room full of snakes. You see what I'm saying? When people ask me, Tiff, why don't you have any friends? Because... I don't need friends. I don't need people bringing negative energy into my aura because I vibrate on a way different frequency than 90% of these other people. It's very rare to find somebody. So when I'm around people that vibrate on a lower frequency, it brings me to their level. So I would rather be alone, right, than deal with that. Until I find friends that vibrate on my fre frequency, I don't need them. Okay, and that's what you could be a message, you know, find you people that vibrate on your frequency, not the people where you give them good news and they say some old snide ass comment that like takes a, they try to act like they're playing, you know what I'm saying, but you know they're saying some hater ass shit, okay, because look, spirit come through, you are the phoenix rising. You have rose from the fucking ashes, from the flames, right? When everything was crashing down around you, everything that this person right here put you through and made your world crash the fuck around you, you came out a winner. 
you rose from those ashes and you it was like nothing unstoppable no matter what you have you were unstoppable and these people can't stand it these low vibrational people wanted to bring you down and they fucking hate that they couldn't they couldn't everything that they did to you is backfiring on them look now with entrapment it's like now they are now they're stuck in a situation, right? Now they're over here depressed as fuck. It's like where they thought they were going to leave you laying at home in the bed thinking about this old fucking wicked ass motherfucker that, that, you know, was trying to hold you there. Entrapment, this is a card like where you're so depressed, you don't even want to get out of bed. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to do shit. And where... This person thought they were going to leave you in that energy. They are now in that energy. Now they are depressed as fuck. They're watching you. They don't even know what to say to you. They're at their lowest. Everything this person did to you has backfired. And they don't even know what the fuck to say to you now. They don't even know what to say to you. The thing is, they got to come to you real. With take off your mask, they can't come to you with no bullshit, no sly shit. Because maybe back in the day, you might have been duped by these snakes. But now that you're sitting in your empress energy, you see that shit a mile the fuck away. And that's just what that is. shit what's going on with the collective at this time what is going on with the collective at this time the distorted masculine you see what i'm saying this person this masculine it's like he would he you were dealing with somebody that was not committal okay that is not commit like they weren't ready they weren't sure of themselves they didn't know what they wanted out of life they thought they wanted this then they would go to this and fuck that up and then they would go to this and fuck that up this person was always chasing a pipe dream it's like they always want more they're never satisfied okay this distorted masculine might you know be very um materialistic all right and it's like really value money and material things and really hold that up as a standard like you know very shallow masculine okay um and this masculine is just they i'm telling you they could be definitely with a karmic right now because they're still in this distorted energy um because the thing is they're not in alignment with you this is your counterpart but right now they're not in alignment with you you nor the universe trying to make you jealous trying to hurt you with a karmic and with other situations and what it did is it backfired on them now they're going through karma now they're unsure of them, where, where they were sure of themselves and on top of the world and <laughs> like thinking they were hurting you now they are going through what you're going through and now they're unsure of themselves right we have the rainbow revolver though that's you look at you on this little old swing enjoy it you're just living fucking life right happy as fuck you know like you just done dropped four hits of acid and the whole world is turning into i've never done it y'all but still i'm just saying uh you know the whole world is fucking fucking trolls and damn smurfs you know what i'm saying you're over here living like in la la land like whatever while this person is over here and everything is falling apart, look at you. And that's the way it's supposed to be. That's their fucking karma. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. I quit smoking like a month ago. Well, on my birthday, on my 34th birthday. And so it's almost been a month and I'm just still hacking. Like I'm still hacking up, up the remnants of smoking for 15 years, y'all. So let's see. Let's see what's going on in y'all's energy. Responding, not reacting. The only control we have is how we respond to the hand we've been dealt. You see what I'm saying? You know, it, it. and this is interesting because I feel like it's the opposite. Before you would, you would react and respond. You know what I'm saying? You would respond out of emotion, right? And it was because you were all in your feelings about what this person has done to you, the hand you were dealt when it came to this person. But now you're at the point 
where it's like this person can't even get a reaction out of you. Here you are, swinging in your own motherfucking lane, right? And this person can't even get a reaction out of you. You're accepting that the hand you have been dealt was from the universe and it's made you the person you are today, right? So instead of letting this person get a reaction out of you, it's like, okay, they might they might not even get a response anymore, right? You're going to give them a response, a old dry ass response if you do, because it's like you cannot bring me down to your level anymore. This could also be this karmic that's jealous. It's like this could be everybody in your life, like people like trying to bring you down a notch because you're vibrating right now all the way up here. And it's like, so people are constantly saying shit. It's the devil trying to get at you when, like, you, you, like, people are doing snide shit. And you want to, like, give them a piece of their ass, but you just looking, like, you know, that's the devil trying to bring you down again. Don't let it happen. The unknown, okay? Knowing the unknown. Because your intuition has, it's like, is so magnified right now. And it's like, regardless of what's out there, the the uni look, here's the world just standing out to me. You know what I'm saying? You're ready to step into the unknown, see what else is out there. Not to mention, you know, regardless of what you go through, you know that the universe has a plan for you, right? So even if you don't know what's coming, you have faith that all is going to be okay. And that's a beautiful thing. That is a beautiful thing. Let's see, what shadow work are y'all going through, though? Let's see what shadow work y'all got going on, spirit. Bride in a cage. Okay, yeah, that's because it's like you don't want to be in a situation. You don't want to be with somebody where you feel trapped, okay? You don't want to be in a situation like unhappily married for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? And you done wasted your life away. Or you don't want to just be with somebody to say, okay, I'm, I'm, I have the title I've married and then feel like you're stuck. It's like you know that the universe has a bigger plan for you than that. And so you're breaking out of that. Whether it be you are already married to this person or, you know, whatever it is, you have dreams to be happy, not to be stuck. You might have had some, like, saw your parents fighting or stuck in a loveless marriage. And that's something that you don't want, right? Let's see. What is coming for the collective spirit? What is coming for the collective at this time, spirit? Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate, which we already know. This is your divine counterpart. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now. And codependency. So I definitely bottom of the deck past life relationship this is your twin flame guys okay and i feel like this person is making a decision on something and will be coming to you with some kind of clarity very very soon but the thing is that this person could have some codependency issues whether it be um addiction sexual addictions or it's somebody else that's codependent on them that is very hard to get rid to like it's like they done went into a situation now this person's codependent on them or it's like um, there's some kind of addictions at play, if if not, okay? But I feel like this masculine or whoever this is is making a decision to come towards you because you're their soulmate and they can't stay away, okay? It's up to you whether you want to deal with them after they done did this bullshit, but still, okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If it resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, my loves, peace.